the practices that you two are saying are good for our brain, such as um, breathing and practices and meditation, we're seeing more and more receptiveness, especially in the West, and actually kind of in conjunction with turning away from religion. And I'm wondering if, if you can understand why that's happening and why it's particularly taking off things like yoga and meditation. Why now or why us at this point in time? Is well, for the last 30 years, uh, yoga and meditation have been progressively becoming more popular simply because of the subjective experiences that people have. They feel good. Okay. Now what Rudy and other neuroscientists are showing is there's no experience of any kind that doesn't get metabolized into gene regulation and neuroplasticity. We are literally metabolizing something as ephemeral as experience or even meaning. If somebody says to me, I love you and I'm in love with them, I suddenly feel great and I make uh, things like oxytocin and dopamine, serotonin, opiates. And if somebody says, I love you and I really think they're manipulating me, I don't make the same thing. I make cortisol and, and adrenaline. How does meaning transfer into a molecule? That's pretty new, right? There's no mechanistic model as of yet that says how we can do it. Uh, it must be in that domain that we call consciousness. Right. And it, biologically, it's all one system. Every experience will cause chemical changes in your body and in your brain. And those chemical changes will then cause genetic changes. And if those genetic changes occur often enough and with persistence, that can lead to modification of those genes such that they react the same way in the future because they've been trained, they've been conditioned. The surprising thing is the evidence that that can be passed on to um, the young of, of, of the parents. And, and it's early days for that, but you know, Lamarck may not have been that far off. And it may be in the end, maybe 50 years from now, we'll see an understanding of evolution that weighs both Darwinian and Lamarckian type of genetics.